So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can decode a base64 string in JavaScript. And there are a few reasons why you might want to do this. You might want to work with files or images that have been encoded as base64 within your apps. Uh, and also JWTs come encoded as base64. So if you need to find out any information about the claims that the user has for a single page application, for example, then it's useful to decode the actual token. And we'll take a look at an example of that towards the end of this tutorial. But first, let's have a look at how you can actually decode a base64 string. So if you're not familiar, this is what a base64 string looks like. Usually they're a lot longer because they're uh, encoding a lot more data. And it's important to note that this string isn't encrypted. It can be decoded using the process that we're about to follow. So it's quite simple to actually decode this base64 string. All we need to use is a special function which is available in JavaScript, which is available on the window object. So you can just call it directly and it's the A to B uh, function. And all you need to do is just pass in the base64 string that you have. And you'll see on the output on the right hand side that this base64 string that we have here is actually encoded uh, the text of hello world. So pretty simple, all you really need to do is call the a to b function on this base64 string and you will get the human readable or uh, data format that you actually need to use within your apps. Okay, so that's just a trivial example. Let's have a look at how you might use this with a JWT, uh, more of a real world example. So let's just get rid of this here. And if I just paste in a JWT that I've got from the JWT website. So this is what a token would look like if you're using a single page app and you need to send it to authenticate or authorize uh, certain requests to a backend service. So first of all, to get the payload of the JWT, we actually want to get this section here because uh, that is the base64 encoded string that we want to check. So uh, to get that, we just do a bit of simple destructuring uh, from the JWT string. So I'm going to uh, split it. Uh, using uh, a, a dot as, or a period as a separator. So basically, we'll, the second uh, destructured argument here will give us uh, this string in the middle. So with that payload, you can see, just log it out to the console so you can see we've got the right bit. We just need to call the A to B function on this uh, to convert this base64 string uh, into its human readable format. Uh, so let's run A to B on that payload. And you can see we get a JSON string come back with us. The A to B uh, function will always return a string. And you can see this is the claims, the information that's been stored uh, in the JWT, such as the person's name and information about their subscription. So that's just a real world example of when you might use the A to B function to decode a base64 string to find out more information about the data that you're working with. But as mentioned at the start of the tutorial, you might be working with base64 images or files, and you might need to convert them so that they can be used within your application. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.